go ahead and get started uh, because this will also be on my timeline so you guys can go and watch it and once it's uploaded so we're going to go ahead and talk about the moon through the week and what we have going on with that and pull a couple of cards for the collective energy and uh, if anybody wants a card pull for them I can do that too so let's see hello so today we had the moon was in Pisces so with the Pisces moon we're probably feeling very emotional in the sense very dreamy very drifty you know and may have been experiencing that hey Daisha and wanting to kind of escape in a sense like just not but at the same time it was in a like a harmonious connection with the sun and with pluto so we may have been focused on getting things done things that we have been um thinking about dreaming about desiring to make happen want wanting to make happen we may have also when it comes to our relationships we may have been um seeing things from a higher perspective from a different set of a different field of vision you know so that we can really attain that dream what is it that we have been believing to be possible for our lives and really being able to move into the space of making that happen but also getting rid of any old karma anything that has been holding on to us that's been stopping that that's been blocking that you know and, and getting out of the cycles as well that have kind of been keeping us in this like illusory space of not seeing things the way it is that they really are especially others in our life so tomorrow and tuesday the moon will be in aries so during this time this is going to be conjuncting which is it's not a bad connection but it, it can it can be explosive at times depending on where you're at what you're doing how you're feeling you know um who you were dealing with and with chiron so any type of wounds surrounding our identity how it is that we have gone about i could say respecting ourselves and in in moving toward our wants needs desires you know and even how the, the way it is that we think about ourselves you know how is it or the way in which it is that our thought processes have been panning out and if they have been serving us have we been wounding our own selves you know that's gonna come up over monday and tuesday you know where is it that we have kind of been in this space of mental um the the mind will be a little bit clear will be much more clear at this time because aries is all about in a sense realization seeing things in a different way seeing things that we didn't recognize before like oh that was there you know so and it's really that that it creates that movement and that traction it is that we need in order to make the thing happen so the moon will still be in that harmonious connection with um pluto and the sun so these are going to be really active days also we might see like in the collective as well things starting to really come out like uh vividly like we are seeing things that we have never seen before ever recognizing things we have never recognized before ever you know hey money um and really just moving into a space of kind of like hey like i gotta what is this <laughs> well let's figure it out so It'll be in trying to Venus, which is, no, I'm sorry. It'll be in a square to Venus over these two days as well. So we may be recognizing where we can grow a little bit more in connection with our relationships, where we need to be paying attention a little bit more of the details and how we have been working things out with ourselves and the people who we are involved with where are we committed where have we not been committing to ourselves that has been taking us out of this space of not being able to commit to um what we desire what makes us feel good the things it is that we want in our life our, our venus is a very uh physical planet a very material earthly planet you know so 
this is about what we possess but also our self values our self worth but also our self doubt as well like not necessarily self love cuz at this point like i'm starting to see that we are always loving ourselves right even when we end up in situations that don't seem serving of, of us by some means we got into that situation in trying to protect ourselves is that not self-love do mothers not protect their children you know so i don't know perspectives are just shifting greatly um but with this as well this um i think chiron i didn't write down the degrees but i believe chiron is in a square to venus as well and though we may have over the past like couple of since venus has went into capricorn been recognizing where we haven't been viewing ourselves as being loved by ourselves <laughs> you know and being able to make uh the foundations build build solid foundations or kind of like that tower energy what needs to come down so our foundations can be rebuilt so it can be solid so it can be what it is that we want in a sense how have we been uh, going about uh, disregarding what we desire for the what we believe the structure should be like based off of what someone has taught us ta taught us that that should be you know so those things may have been coming up but those let's see then the moon will be in a harmonious connection with the north node so we'll be doing in any type of self realignment when it comes to moving forward in our goals whether that is connecting with people hey there um when it comes to connecting with others when it comes to our perspectives our perceptions when it comes to if we have any type of business that we're building if we have any type of um it, it, any type of relationships with our siblings with our immediate family that kind of need to be worked out in a sense how it is that we go about relating to people and also the conversations it is that we're having with ourselves about ourselves as well you know this is i'm talking about right now monday and tuesday with the moon being in aries so really just recognizing how we may be sabotaging ourselves and being able to do the work you know having the assets to take care of it you know after this moon came out of pluto and been at these later de the moon came out of pluto the moon came out of pisces and been at these later degrees um in this connection with pluto in the sun after realizing all of the ways that we have kind of been blocking ourselves not seeing things clearly you know so this will be very serving in aligning more into our destiny and really just getting shit done you know taking care and making making things happen so on wednesday and thursday wednesday we go into aquarius season so the sun will be shifting into aquarius season hey everybody um the sun will be shifting into aquarius and we will be a little bit more focused on the world on others on what can we do to help another at the same time we'll be focused on our individual expression of self you know the sun is a very personal planet things will uh show up collectively but with it being a personal planet this is more so about us and how it is that we are um projecting our energies in a creative and loving way that can support others that can serve others you know but also really we're about to go into this space of really focusing on our long long-term goals and doing what it is that needs to be done in order to acquire these things because on the 21st the 20th and the 21st even the the well just more so the 20th and the 21st the moon is going to be squaring the sun um saturn and jupiter so with this energy this is 
really forcing us to get grounded right and then the 21st or the 20th i don't know which day what we have in this inauguration so um with this whole political stuff going on things are about to be shifting drastically in a sense because you on a collective scale but even personally because uh with uranus and mars being conjunct one another like personally this might be something um subtle that brings a shift that 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 moves us into a different direction or more so aligns us to how it is that we need to go about um moving into this new direction right or the direction it is that we've already been set on right and just needing to switch some things up but collectively uh, the world is especially in america things are about to change it's about to be different so um yeah that that it's gonna be interesting i mean uh we it's no telling what's about to go down so with the moon in a square to the sun jupiter and saturn this can call up <laughs> any type of ways that that we have been in some type of challenge in regards to um connecting or moving forward in what it is that we want on a a very physical level on what it is that we want to have what we want to possess what it is that we we value in our world in our our personal world you know in letting these emotions and these these desires and needs come up so that we can really align and do the work but also recognizing ways that we can be expanding ourselves on this because with Jupiter being there it kind of brings some type of ease to it a little bit Jupiter kind of wants to have fun it's like okay we're not why do we need to take this so seriously like let's just do it kind of thing whereas and even the sun being in Aquarius um Aquarius is you know they like to take things lightly they like to have fun and like to enjoy life in a sense until you know they're just taking it too seriously but and that just comes from that fixed nature that aquarius is in so it's also showing us where is it that we need to change why where are we doing things consistently that's just not working right because taurus and um aquarius are fixed energies they like consistency they like order you know once they get to doing things one way they want to keep it that way you know but jupiter's like hey let's let's switch it up let's do something bigger let's do something lighter you know um let's just change so that those types of expressions will be coming up those types of feelings if we feel if you are feeling stuck or blindsided even on wednesday and thursday because again especially this uh uh election stuff that may bring some blindsidedness that no one is just really expecting like oh okay so the moon will also be then in a trine to venus um throughout these two days so we may be focusing a little bit more on where it is that we can better show up for ourselves <clears throat> and make what we believe we can have to be really true you know how is it that we can bring this into our life how is it that we can make this real what is it that what work do i need to start doing how have i been blocking myself these things are going to be coming up easily unless um because it's the aspect that it's in it's a trine and that can be very harmonious but if you're already in this space of not paying attention if you're not self-aware and things that that energy is just going to keep perpetuating itself in your life and it's not going to create you're not going to be able to take care take advantage of the benevolence that the trine brings you know so and that's a, a lot in our relationships i love are you committed to that are you um you may be seeing people uh announcing that they got engaged on this day you know because it's such a very grounded long lasting type of energy you know it's a forever 
kind of energy if you get married under a moon in taurus trying venus and capricorn y'all gonna be together forever all right y'all dying together <laughs> so that is the type of energy that we will be experiencing all those two days now to close out the week on the 22nd and the 23rd the moon will be in taurus and then at the end of the 22nd and then on the 23rd it will be in gemini so through these two days we'll be experiencing the energies of again that benevolence with pluto with the sun saturn and jupiter so the thing the 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 most beautiful thing so many yeah see <laughs> um so many like the the moon is so beautiful in the way in which it is it expresses itself right because it's consistently it's going through these cycles and then it's going through these very quick transits right so you one day you're experiencing like oh my goodness like what is this like i need to sit down i need to calm down i need to figure this out and then the next day it's like oh I need to do this. This is what I need to do. And that is what is happening on Friday and Saturday coming out of this square with this sun, moon, and Jupiter energy. You know, this very lighthearted, Gemini, playful um, moon is really going to enlighten us on what it is that can be really uh make it happen how are we gonna make it happen what are we gonna do to move forward with this like P you, we may see a lot of people coming together connecting um just seeing things begin to rectify themselves in a sense and emotions kind of lightening up and if if you are seeing choosing to see things from a higher perspective because with gemini gemini and aquarius coming in contact with one another like that that's god mind you know so that that's god mind with human mind together you know so you you can really figure anything out when you put a gemini and aquarius with one another they're going to come up with a very innovative way to in a very high elevated enlightened perspective on how to move through these things especially when it comes to the truth when it comes to beliefs when it comes to um knowledge it is that can be gained hello yes it's the aquamini most definitely <laughs> what's that is that outcast um one of the albums um i could be wrong so <laughs> yes you guys that is what's going on with the moon with this week we are going to get into pulling these cards for the collective energy here and then if you guys have any questions let me know so i can pull a card or two for you great spirit thank you for this space this time for us being able to be here together and connect with one another i ask that you come through and offer your guidance your insight your love into the week of January 18th to January 23rd. What would you like for us to know for this week? Ancestors, guys, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Jazz. Thank you. Hey, Jordan. Bashar, why are you knocking on the door? You can come out the room. Ah, so this week for the tarot, we have um, the Queen of Pentacles. Babe, can you help him? I don't know. I think he's stuck in the room, can't open the door um so we have the queen of pentacles so this week we may need to be focused on really nurturing ourselves and loving ourselves you know giving um giving enough to us so that we can give to the others in our life because the queen of pentacles she's the mother she's the caregiver the nurturer the 
the lover who <laughs> the lover who you know takes care of everybody but she takes care of everybody in a very um sustainable way you know she really uh knows how to get shit done uh the queen of pentacles is all of the queens the queen of wands the queen of swords the queen of cups in one you know she has manifested and mastered her emotions she has yes most definitely um she has mastered her mind she has mastered uh her creative ability so she's able to carry this out into the world and make it happen now this is also i'm i'm hearing about self-worth so or value self-doubt if that has been anything that has been going on for you uh take some time to give yourself some some nurturing you know take some self-care but in a way that is very um practical you know it, this is not necessarily this can be a spiritual thing because the pinnacles are about wisdom right this is about what it is that we have learned along the way so we may be needing to apply what it is that we have gathered in order to move forward and be able to really um manifest or move towards our aims our goals you know and really be able to tackle that life that life work balance you know in the sense of not correcting but you know mastery in a sense working towards that right because and I don't want to say it's a lifelong practice, but it is something that we have to apply every day in order to really be able to feel like we got a handle on our life, you know? So let's see. Then we have the Four of Cups coming out. So if there is any, um, if you are feeling disconnected from that Queen of Cups energy, it could be because um, you're just kind of in this seeing things through eyes of Inui, right? Or being apathetic about things, being, feeling bored with life in a sense, like, ah, uh, but <laughs> it's like, uh, lighten up a little bit, you know, recognize what it is that you have to utilize already, you know? And this is also kind of, um, not being so focused on what you don't have and recognize what it is that you do have, kind of come into that space of self-awareness where you have not been aligning or to the energy of nurturing yourself, where it is that you can show up for another, where it is that you can shit, show up for yourself, you know, like just so we can be able to have great relationships and connections with other people. Hey, Spring. Um, so let's see, I'm going to pull an oracle card. Also with that four of cups is, um, kind of pay attention to the, pay attention to the, the gifts that you're being offered in a sense. Um, not in a sense, but the gifts, <laughs> what is it that you have not been, been being aware of that's available to you in your life? Where is it that you not have, where is it? Have you not been aware of <clears throat> what's really going on? What if, if you have been feeling like you have not been able to receive, if you have not been able to bring anything to fruition, tap into that self-awareness because if if you have not been it's simply out of you not utilizing your energy that you have to really um manifest with like really in order for us to be in the space to gain mastery to attain that we have to be committed to what it is that we're doing where we're going how that's looking yeah so but that's ending because we have the crumbling card it asks where are you clinging on to so this for me is a very uranian type of energy it is um it's, it's like the tower card to me you know it's also aries energy and we will be having very strong influences with 
uh, that Aryan and Uranus energy with Uranus and Mars being conjunct one another with the moon being in Aries this week and that really changing our trajectory of things changing our perspective of things you know seeing even shifting our emotional natures with the moon being in Aries and Mars being conjunct that Uranus energy um and this forcing us especially if you're not willing to do it on your own this forcing us to go and um and level up to see things from a higher perspective and no longer really just put ourselves in this space of believing that we can continue to operate where it is that we are especially if it hasn't been working for us you know we have to continue to be open to go with the flow and, and shift when we need to because once we allow things to to come down um that's when the doors to heaven open that's when we begin to be able to build the utopias that we desire for our personal lives whatever utopia means to you whatever that looks like for you in your life you know goodness these cards <clears throat> So it's also what I'm getting is stop and smell the roses. Hold on a moment, y'all. My car fell. Okay, so the sorcerer came out. So the sorcerer basically speaks about um this is a card of dark energy. So this is about just when we get to that space of boredom, when we get to that space of apathy, that is coming from a space of shadow. You know, that is where we feel like we can't live and enjoy life. That is very shadow oriented. And that is what the sorcerer speaks of. She also speaks of where is it that we have not been, um, where we're continuing to live out our ancestors' um, karma lessons when will this when will we decide to let that go and that speaks a lot with this pluto energy that we are having contact with every day this week coming up you know and really a need to um it's, it's time to walk away from that time to see the higher see things for, again from a higher perspective what number is this 48 is 12 12 is the hangman and that breaks down to three that's the empress so this is about not just having not seeing things clearly with that four of cups coming up that is what that is so distracted by absolutely nothing right we are putting we put ourselves in the space of um I cut that kind of woe is me like when will this be over and it's it's just kind of like if you were in control you know really take the reins go within and recognize and see yourself so that you can begin to integrate um what it is that belongs to you what it is that has been useful for you through what it is that you have learned along the way you know so that you can see a brighter day because it's it's she has the sun in this rainbow behind her but that's it you know she's just distracted <laughs> so you know she is really you know got have to come up out of that that darkness <clears throat> and really just need to take the time to um see the light that is there in that dark why are you feeling these ways what is that for you i'm gonna pull a few more oral cards guys i bought these mermaid cards and they're so lovely <laughs> i love them so much i'm gonna pull one here I put on this sweatshirt is hot in here but when I read I get high especially when it's live like doing a live reading so what we got here is the merman he's a number four number four in the tarot is the emperor and he says the longings of your heart can become actual realities so whatever it is that you have been feeling to be true what you have been feeling that has been planted within you it's possible it's just a need to um believe so yes most definitely jordan <laughs> it's hot 
<laughs> um, so I'm gonna read this for you guys. Uh, the word for the merman is elation. The mermaid, a beneficent, amiable, jolly creature and predicts fun and friendship for you. Your social circle is expanding, bringing big opportunities. When roused to anger, the merman raises storms. So be assured to blow, a blow of fate has a sacred blessing about it. A love relationship will survive scrutiny, bringing a happier phase that is harmonious and beneficial to you both. You may meet someone significant while investigating new creative ideas in your career or leisure interests you may be you may become close friends with someone who lives near and ch and choose to see less of someone who lives at a distant distance or in a foreign land something pleasing of, is about to lift your spirits and make you feel lighthearted so once we tap into that crumbling energy, letting things die, right, which needs to be this sorcerer energy here, then the merman comes in and brings great tidings. Basically, we may be meeting new people, connecting with like soul family this week. Um, those who we have not really connected with in a long time. I know it says from a, people from a distance, you may be letting them go, but if they, oh, did she? Oh, wow. Um, if they live near you, you may be reconnecting with them. Um, but people who are far, people who you have been having a distant relationship with, that it will probably be coming to an end, especially if they have been people who've been triggering this sorcerer energy. Oh, wow. And so the cards that the astrology cards that fell out is Aquarius and Aries. So all about this is all about your individual unique expression of self. That sometimes most of the time when we are not tapped into that energy, that is when we get into that space of boredom, apathy, you know, distraction, not not recognizing what's available to us, what's useful to us, you know, and really being able to connect more with um, who it is that we are so we can connect with people. This is also a very lighthearted energy, you know, Aries is all about like, let's have, like, let's have fun. Like they not really attached to anything. I should say we are not really attached to anything and neither is Aquarius, you know, they come off as very detached people, but um, Aquarius, they be, they be down for the ride. They are about long-term goals, you know, and, it, and as long as they can be themselves, you know, they are in it to win it. We are trailblazing this week into something new, into something that's going to last for a long time, into something that's going to bring us gains, like maybe big gains, large sums of money. All right, or maybe just <laughs> big friendships. You may be connecting with again new people as well, because Aquarius is a sign of friendships, and Aries is of newness, uh, also activation and assertiveness. It, this can also be a very electrical energy. So be careful with the people who you come in contact with. Be careful when you're out on the road, because I was out today, and people was just being ridiculous. But with the energy that is coming out, that is here and playing out this week, we want to just be very cautious of other people and their anger and them being in this anxious state and, you know, just having to either be present with them or detach ourselves from them. But also pay attention to this being within your energy. Perhaps this is that sorcerer's energy that has been coming up for you. If Especially when you are in that very nervous energy, that very anxious energy, it blocks you from being able to see what is, um, what is possible, what is newly possible, what can come. What did you see yesterday, Jordan? And then I'm going to pull this last affirmation card for you guys. So if y'all have, if anybody wants a card, pull for them. Um, if you have any questions or a question, let me know. <laughs> These comments be <laughs> an old man. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, they out here. They out here. Because Uranus and Mars being in Taurus, that's of just going about your business, basically. Experiencing other people. Yeah. The energy is is it's electric to say the least. <laughs> Okay, so we got get centered. So take some time to ground yourself this week. Take some time to get into your meditation, your journaling, your breath work, you know. <laughs> right, Poe thing, he needed his windows rolled down. So um, <laughs> take time to really, you know, just uh, get go within again, see and see yourself so that you can see yourself so that you can connect with yourself so you can connect with the divine the divine within you and uh, your spirit guides your spirit team if you have any um if you have any ancestors that you can connect with that will be helpful too. sit down have a cup of coffee with them like handle for them you know connect with some spiritual people that uh or just people in general who resonate with you, who you can relate to, who's level, who's on your level, I should say. So let's see what this card says. It says, when it gets to be too much, <clears throat> whatever it is, I close my eyes and return to my center. In my center, I have the wisdom and tranquility of blank, put your favorite animal there, holding a blank magical item, floating through space on a whatever piece of furniture you imagine envision so yes that is it for this week in the cards you guys so